<laughs> hey, Sarah. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, I was hey. just sharing with them what you were doing, the idea. Uh, so I shared with them what you did and how that you'd gotten four leads from making calls and all that good stuff. So. Yeah. People well, and it was know, too, Sarah. They want to know, like, what did you say on those calls? Like, how did you introduce yourself to that lead, and what you know? So, can you get into a little detail? Sure. So, basically, it was the Dr. Butler script. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically calling on behalf of somebody else, and that really was the idea behind it. Was just, and that's what I presented to the agent was, you know, you can make these calls by yourself, but what if I were to come alongside you and do it with you? And the way the conversation will go with me and the client is, I, this is Sarah Cox on behalf of your agent. Um, we wanted to just check in and see if you're still looking to purchase a home in the Dallas Fort Worth market. I know that you were working with her last week or last year and you didn't purchase, but if we wanted to just check in and see if you are still interested. And some of the people had already purchased. They used another agent. Um, there was only two uh, that had, but the ones that I did speak with said, oh yeah, no, I haven't purchased a home yet. And they, and I asked them, okay, do you, can you tell me why? You know, and then we just went down the conversation, but really it was just the opening line was, Sarah Cox on behalf of the agent wanted to see if you are still looking to purchase a home in the Dallas Fort Worth market. That's There's it. that nine word text right there. So That's what it was. It, yeah, there it is right there to see yeah. if you're still looking to purchase a home in insert wherever you're at. That's so smooth. Right. Sarah. So instead of taxing it, it was your script. It was my script, yeah, and that's all yeah. I had to say, and I didn't get fancy with it, and I didn't, you know, try to trick it up. All I did was just, are you still looking yeah. to purchase a home? And yeah. and what I think somebody had asked Carl once on a lakeside chat um, if he added anything else to it or if he ever adjusted it, or, and he said that the that statistically speaking, it didn't change anything. If you did change what you said, like if you added more or took away, it, he's like it, it's it's better to just do the nine word. Don't do anything different than that. Right. Like, you know, and that's why it's so easy to just follow because again, it just rolls off the tongue. There, he's still purchase a home in Dallas Fort Worth market. You know, um, so yeah, that was it. Hey, so did you, you send back four four leads? Four. You, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Great. Four. So yeah. absolutely. I got to ask this, Sarah. So you call, so he says, hello. And do you say, Hey, this is Sarah Cox. Uh, I'm working with realtor. So-and-so did you go into, did you like you probably engage with that person on Zillow or realtor.com or get into any of those details? Or you just said, Hey, this is Sarah Cox. I work with real estate agent, Sally Jones. And we were just checking to see if you were still interested well, in a home great, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I mean, let's, let's role play real quick. Okay. Right? All right. So, I'll be the ring, customer. Ring, ring. You be Hi. customer. Hello. Hi, is this Frank? Yeah. Hi, Frank. My name is Sarah Cox. I'm working with your realtor, Bob Smith. And Bob gave me your contact information and said that you were looking to purchase a home. Are you still looking at purchasing a home with him? Oh, perfect. I love it. Or, or even then, hey, this is Sarah Cox. I'm calling on behalf of Bob Smith. Are you still looking to purchase a home in the Dallas Fort Worth market? I there mean, you know, that's it, simple. It, even. Even not, are you working with him? Are you just, are you looking to purchase a home? Mm. Bottom line, you know, just that that's simple. That's simple. Yeah. And, and I did ask, like, it was funny because there were some people that hesitated when I said, is this Frank? Is this yeah, like, you know, whoever? Uh, like, they were like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, so there were, the, it, and I feel like because I know who they are and because I have their contact information and I will say the energy behind my boy definitely made a difference for how they responded to me because okay. they felt like, oh, I should know who this is. Oh, this isn't a telemarketer. This isn't somebody who's just trying to sell me something like and, and you know what? I respond that way to people when I take calls because I take calls on my cell phone all the time that I don't recognize the number because who knows? It could be a client. And I will very quickly decipher if it is a telemarketer or somebody that I should know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the people who catch me in the people I should know, it's the energy behind the voice that engages me in the conversation. So I tell people this all the time, have a mirror in front of your desk, in front of your screen, because you got to see the face you have on is the face people hear. That's a good and one. I like it. 
Yeah. And it's something that has always stayed with me over the years. And I make sure I do it because like, Hey, all of us do that. We all end up with an RBF, you know, in the morning or whatever that, that resting face that just does the not face you see is what you hear. <laughs> yeah. The face you have on is the face they hear. Yeah. It. So it. if you, if you have that Eeyore mentality, when you get on the phones, they're gonna hear it and if you can if you could just rally to do whatever you can to get out of that funk to when you're making these calls it will make a huge difference and that goes for any phone calls right thor's hammer tuesday updates no matter what you're doing when you get on the phone put your best foot forward that's great hey sarah quick question when they say no um how do you handle that so hey sarah thanks for the call no i'm not looking for a house what do you do Oh, okay. Well, did you purchase a home? Did what ended up happening? Mm -hmm. Great question. Great question. So you're digging mm -hmm. a little bit deeper. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, one agent or one person said, "Oh gosh, no, I don't even know how you got my number. I don't even know who this agent is that you're telling me about." And you know what? That person who told me that actually called me back from the voicemail I left her. And I was like, really? That's strange. I said, she ha we have your email address and your phone number. And mm -hmm. she's like, well, I'm not looking to buy a house, but, I, you know, I'll save your number in case I ever do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was funny because she was just like, I don't even know how we're talking right now. I'm like, I don't either, but, you know, here's this, this is who I am. This is my cell phone number. I've had the same number for 25 years. You know, just save it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm happy to help. So, hey, what was yeah. one more question for you? What was the voicemail you left? So, goes to voicemail. Would you leave? Hi, this is Sarah Cox with S and P Mortgage. I was just giving you a call to check in and see if you're still looking to purchase a home in the Dallas Fort Worth market. I'm calling on behalf of your yeah. agent, and she said that you were looking to purchase last year. So, we just wanted to check in, see how things are coming along. You can give me a call back at this number, and I'd be happy to chat. You can also set up time with me at meetupwithsarah.com, and you can schedule the time to visit. That's it. That's slick. I like it. Mm -hmm. And I can't say enough again about those speakable links. Meetupwithsarah.com and applywithsarah.com are two websites. I was so sh surprised and shocked to see they weren't taken already. And now it's so easy to get folks over to my application link and to set up time with me. It's just mm -hmm. super easy. Apps. Yeah. yeah, those are so great. And it was, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised at which, which domains are still available. Steve walked me through it, and I was like, Steve, I have no idea what to do. I can't, so I don't easy. know where to go. Yeah. He's like, Sarah, if I can do it, you can do it. I was like, okay. And you're right. <laughs> it was really easy. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Hey, listen, we got four minutes and two hands. Can we yeah, we, and we also, I think, uh, who else had their hand up? I can't remember. Was it Donna? I don't know. Somebody else had their hand up. But, uh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Marvin real quick. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing. Uh, sure. Marvin, what do you got? Uh, great. Thanks, both Steve and Sarah. Since I've got you guys present, I'm just curious if off the top of your head, and I hope I'm not putting you on the spot, if off the top of your head you might be able to give us an idea of the percentage of, of benefit uh, loans originated from your annual mortgage reviews. I've been hesitant to implement that because it sounds like a lot of workload. So I'm just curious. There, I don't, I don't so, have the numbers. Yeah, I don't have the numbers of the percentage. And, and Marvin, honestly, I think that it's one of those pipeline, you're filling up your pipeline for the future. Yeah. It's almost like if you look at Wednesday database calls, if you look at any of the tasks that we do as busy work and immediate results, it's the wrong mindset. Um, you really have to look at what we do today as seed planting a seed for tomorrow because it doesn't happen overnight. Our business is not microwave. Um, I think it's Carl who says, if you want to make money right now, go get a hot dog stand. Right. Um, and that's just not what we do, you know? So the annual mortgage review is a service to our clients for being our clients for mm -hmm. helping us a year ago, five years ago, nine years ago, um, support our families, right? So I think the way you measure how much you actually want to do, Marvin, we, I, at the beginning, did 20 in a week, and that was too many. I had to scale that down to 10 and to five. Like, I had to decide how many worked with my schedule and my workload. So I would say look at it that in that 
light, there were a lot of people that I called from last year that aren't ready to refinance and they shouldn't necessarily refinance if it doesn't make sense for them, you know? So it's not annual mortgage review isn't to immediately get business. Hey, but there were deals that have gone in the pipeline and closed, and then there's a pipeline of people that you just build. And I, and I don't know. I, I want to say there's over 20 that are in the pipeline ready for the markets to come down. Yes, and, absolutely. And lock in. So it's more of a long-term play. Great question, Marvin. Thank um, you. Although there have been deals that have been in the pipeline that have funded that are refis, it, it, when your rates are sitting where they're at now, you're really just building it, trying to get ahead of the servicers. Well, so it's and, and, and it's, conversation. Yeah, and it's Scott Layton put in the, in the chat three by yeah. three, right? It's just, you're, sure. you're just building another, you know, just, Hey, engaging, being that's engaging, right. 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 And as the Bonding, markets come down, yeah, you see then, a windfall of the people that we've met yeah. pulled into the pipeline. So. Yep. Yeah, right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we're, we're, we're at the last minute here. Brad, what you got? Yeah, real quick. Uh, first of all, Sarah, you really got the gift of gab that you got from Steve. Um, when you were making these calls with the with the agent, were you both on the same call or were you each calling separate numbers? Um, you know, was she, was she how was she doing it? And I hear how you were doing it. You sounded great. Um, I'd love to know how you, if you were both together or separate. And then the last thing is I'd love to ask everybody, um, how many people here really choose to get an application online, send people to a link, or how many people want to take the application live over the phone? I Maybe you guys can put that in the chat. If you yeah. li link or phone, put that in the chat. Uh, uh, okay, so Sarah, go answer the question. All right, Brad. Well, first of all, the gift of gab did not get inherited from Steve. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, that, well, but well, but you've but you've both got it. So I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, I you. Just, you both got it. I know you're sweet. I appreciate it. I just couldn't. I couldn't help it. Um, but no, we were on a Zoom. It was just like call stars. We set it up like a call stars vibe, where we were both on the phone at the same time through Zoom. So calling, I was like, you were each call. You were each calling this. You were calling the different same numbers together. Correct. Different she called numbers. sellers. Okay. I called buyers. Okay. And that's how we set it up. That's cool. Great. Great. All right. Hey, Sarah, thank you for sharing. That was yeah, Sarah, thanks, man. Always a pleasure. Thanks, uh, just for hanging out and